This past weekend's WestJet strike has left many passengers wondering about their compensation rights. More than a year ago, Ottawa proposed new rules to simplify Canada's compensation regulations. But the changes have yet to take effect. Sophia Harris reports. Maybe you've had this experience. Your airline causes your flight delay, so you apply for compensation, thinking it's a slam dunk. But your airline tells you the delay was safety related, so you don't qualify for compensation. Under federal rules, airlines must compensate passengers for flight disruptions, but not when they're safety related. Some consumer advocates have long complained Canada's air passenger protection rules contain loopholes, such as the safety related category. It's a huge gray area that uh, really only the carriers know, uh, can, can take advantage of because if a carrier says, well, there was a safety issue, uh, and that's why you didn't get to take your flight. Who are we as passengers uh, to say whether that's true or not? More than a year ago, Ottawa proposed to simplify the compensation regulations and get rid of supposed loopholes. The hope is more clarity will help cut down the Canadian Transportation Agency's huge backlog of more than 72,000 air passenger complaints. The new rules would require airlines to compensate passengers for all flight disruptions, except for a designated list of exceptions, such as weather or terrorism. The changes will make the regulations easier for airlines to apply, for passengers to understand, and for the agency to enforce. The thing is, the new rules have yet to be implemented, and the CTA couldn't even give me a timeline for when they may appear. One big reason for the holdup may be that the proposed list of exceptions now exclude the safety-related category. An airline industry group told me it's unfair to make airlines compensate passengers for delaying flights for safety reasons. So it looks like these new compensation rules won't take off until that debate is resolved. Sophia Harris, CBC News, Toronto.